So we've seen in our Python implementation of the one-dimensional acoustic wave equation that we can propagate sound waves uh, away from a central source point. So one of the most important aspects of all numerical implementations of partial differential equations is the comparison with known analytical solutions. And uh, before we proceed, we now try to find some of the uh, analytical solutions of the acoustic wave equation and go back to the numerical simulation and compare with them and quantify the difference and uh, such, uh, so the, the error of these uh, simulations. So let's look again at the acoustic wave equation. On the right hand side, we have the source term S that depends on X and T. Um, now, there are also solutions of the wave equation without that source term. So let's start uh, with this situation. Um, the analy analytical solution to that is uh, based on initial conditions. So we can formulate an initial condition. The, the pressure P at T equals zero is, has a wave a waveform P zero uh, of X. Uh, and the first derivative of time of P is zero. So if we go into the equation with this uh, initial condition, we actually get an analytical solution that you see here. So we have terms P0 of CT minus X and CT plus X um, uh, multiplied by one half, which is actually the initial waveform multiplied by a factor of uh, 0 0.5, propagating away from the central point uh, in both directions. So that's one analytical solution we can compare our numerical results to. So what if we have a source term S of xt uh, in the acoustic wave equation? Uh, to find solutions, uh, analytical solutions for this situation, we have to uh, make use of the concept of Green's functions that we have encountered before. For that, we define a source uh, using delta functions, and let's recall the definition of a delta function in either space or time. It can be x0, t0, and it's defined, for example, in space. Um, if uh, delta of x0 uh, is uh, infinite at point x0 and 0 elsewhere. Uh, also, there is a definition that the integral over um, the delta function is, is 1. Um, and that's going to be very important later also for the numerical uh, implementation. So provided that we have a source term as a delta function in space-time at x0 and t0, the solution to that problem is the so-called Green's function. And that's uh, defined as a g the, for Green's function of xt for the source at x0 and t0. And so we re rewrite the wave equation uh, in this form, replacing basically the, the field P by the, the Green's function. Now, without deriving uh, the result, the Green's function for this uh, situation is given here. And it actually contains the Heaviside function. So let's uh, uh, define what the Heaviside function is, which is basically the integral of the delta function. The Heaviside is simply a, a step function that at x0 uh, starts it starts uh, from minus infinity uh, at 0, and x0, it goes up uh, to 1. So that's a, a step function, and that's the Heaviside function. So um, in other words, and that's a very important point for the numerical simulation, actually the solution of the, um, the delta function, the solution of the, the, uh, the wave equation is actually the integral on the, source, on the source time function. And that's something we will uh, see also later in the numerical solutions.